hello everybody um i didn't mean to uh put up a show i was trying out another camera and we were doing some stuff with wix but well while i'm here and i need to meet with jane sanderson so uh <laughs> We'll do some uh, political questions. I think there's folks here. If not, I'm just going to. Hello, hello. There's two people here. <laughs> Hi, Paisley. Hi, Angela Locke. How funny. I was trying out another camera and doing some stuff with the Wix kids. I think the website is finally really working now, guys. So check it out. JenBushman.com. I did all that by myself. My daughter um, did the formatting. She came up with like the template. And, uh, but as far as all of the, uh, all the nitty gritty stuff, that was me. So I've learned a lot. It's taken several weeks, but, um, and then I spilled my water here. We don't want that on the cards. So life is good. Happy Sunday. If you have political questions, actually, there's, um, oh boy, okay, actually, there's quite a few from uh, yesterday, leftovers, some spillovers, guys, so um, let's just do that, <laughs> oh, how awesome, so good, you checked it last night, Angela, oh, Yay, Angela. Thank you, sweetie. What do you think? It's looking good. You should check it out now. I took out the chat box um, and I can take appointments because they stopped working um, and took out Facebook because I don't like Facebook. I don't I think they're monsters. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm probably one of the only few on the planet. <laughs> I know. Um, and uh, what else? But yeah, now you can book appointments. I think it all works. I think all the links work properly. So anyway, now I can get on with my life because Next Level Soul is going to drop um, uh, mid-April. Takes uh, Alex a few weeks to um, edit and do all he does. So that'll be mid-April. And then I've got a couple of other shows coming up. So... Um, I'll let you know the Wednesday show with Dave Johnson, or excuse me, it's a Thursday show. We have to do it on Wednesday. I learned on Friday that the concert that I was going to, which I thought was this Friday is actually Thursday night. So, um, uh, uh, so we're going to do the show Wednesday night. So Dave and I are going to do our spiritual show this Wednesday at, um, 530 mountain time. Okay. All right. <laughs> Enough with announcements. Yeah. See, thankful doesn't. Yeah. I just, I think they are cruel. I, I think, you know, if they would focus on doing good, but it's they're focusing on making money, <laughs> right? And letting misinformation and horrible things have happened. It's, I think it's shaped and molded our consciousness in a very horrible way. And he could turn it around. That's what's his head's choice. You know, the owner, what's his name? I see him, the curly hair. Whatever. All right. I love you guys. I'm glad to see you. Hi, Zen Soul. Long time lurker. Oh, well, welcome, sweetie. So nice to meet you. Hello, Jennifer P. Hi, Sheila. Uh, uh, yep, I knew it. They are... Um, He's poking the bear, you guys. So we need to start holding space for no war. You know, there's a lot of things I see I don't say because that is using discernment. 
I do not want to feed the fear and I do not want to hurt anyone, right? I just want to, uh, I mean, I think it's one thing to read about politicians, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, you know, because it's such a, it's, it's like, a, it's a reading of energy that people choose, right? It's, it's not always their soul. Get what I'm saying? So anyway, guys. All right. I'm highlighting. I thank you. I see questions and I'm highlighting. Um, uh, La Po. Hi, hun. How are you? Yay. That's not Laverne Poterma, is it? Oh, sorry. I don't mean to say your name. I'm sorry, sweetie. If it is, hello. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm highlighting. I'm highlighting Zuckerberg. Thank you, Sandra. That guy. Zuckerberg, get it together. Thank you, Valeria. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Jennifer P. And I was trying to find a rock you suggested, but cannot find it. What is it? Is it banded calcite? I've got that. People are ordering that. Yay. Banded calcite's really good for right now. Do you know what banded, banded calcite is? It's calcite and it looks, they call it onyx. Yeah, but it's not onyx, not the black onyx. And so then if some people, it's like, no, don't say that. Say banded calcite. <laughs> no, don't say that. Oh. No, I did not. He did. Wow. Very cool. Heard it on his channel first, huh? Yep. <laughs> Hey, TikTok. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. And Facebook. Sign for email. Okay. Thanks, Angela. Very good. Hi, Sheila. Flying without a broom. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Oh, my gosh. I just love YouTube lives. They're like big Zoom calls for me, and I know it irritates people, but I just love it. I love you guys. It's so much fun. It's 9.25 in the UK. Oh, Angela lives in the UK. Ah, okay. Hi, Rob. <laughs> Thank you. I'm fine, Carol Bastion says. Yeah, I was just trying um, while uh, Mark was fixing my website because the gallery became an anchor. This is, this is website building talk, you guys. Um, so I was messing with, while well, he was doing that, I love it. See, what I do is I just throw a few cards for him, and then they take over and they fix my site. <laughs> so then I was trying to do the third camera, or second camera. I don't need three. I just need another one for rocks. And uh, so that's why it looked like I was going to have a show. I was just messing with, you know, the settings. So... Anyway, but this is, oh, it wasn't bounded calcite. Okay. So, but this is all right. Just throw your, um, oh, throw up your questions, your comments. <laughs> I love that. That's one of my favorite meals. I make a pretty darn good curry, Angela Locke. I do, I have to say. I like it. My kids like it, which is good, right? Hi, Jenny Baez. <laughs> Como esta, Yogi Bear? How's it going, chica? All right, guys. So what do we got? We got some questions, some preguntas. All right. Oh, my God. We had the most exciting tarot class this morning. You know, so Pixie... That's Pamela Coleman Smith and Arthur come in and they just argue. And boy, getting through the major arcana 
was something. So I'm writing a book and I, I have the title here. It's Mansplaining, Mansplaining Pixie, the real story behind Ryder Wait or Ryder, not Ryder, behind Wait Smith's tarot. But I should say the Ryder Wait because that's very, um, you know, very chauvinistic, which was, that's what we're learning about this coupling. They were not a couple. Uh, Arthur was many years older than Pamela. They were in the new order of dawn, the order of the new dawn. And it's like a, a group that was into spiritual exploration. Arthur Waite came in and he was kind of like this rock star. You know, he was older and he was very learned, you know, in the Bible and Shakespeare and reading the classics. So that's why you see all that symbolism in the tarot deck. And it started before and Arthur just took it uh, further. But so Pixie, Pamela, so Pixie is her nickname because she's really tiny. She's like four foot eight. When she comes in, she's wearing this bright orange silk skirt with black tassels and this green silk top. And um, she's just beautiful, mischievous, really twinkly, sparkly brown eyes, um, a bohemian, very much, very, very far ahead of her time. Um, and she was part of the Order of New Dawn before Arthur showed up. So he shows up on the scene and he's like a rock star immediately. One, he's a man. It's England in 1907. So it was very, uh, very divided. They were divided in their politics at that time. Plus they were divided, you know, in the masculine and feminine energy. Even in the Order of the New Dawn, you would think that they would be mingling. And it was almost like they were on opposite ends of the room. But anyway, there's just so much to it. it it's just, but man, when, uh, so we've just gotten through the Major Arcana. It's taken us about four sessions now, and we got through it today just with all of the, um, just the, the add-ons about how, what the symbolism means, what, what it really means, you know, because Pamela was the one who drew all of these and they fought over the meanings. It was quite a struggle. Anyway, it'll be a very interesting movie and it would be I mean, a very interesting book. It would be a very interesting movie as well. So anyway, guys, that's that's what happened today. It was very cool. All right, guys. Will Sotomayor retire? Yeah, Jenny's in the class. So's Tony. Uh, Carol is there. Joanne's there. It's really fun. We're having a good time. Yeah, and it is. It's really neat, though, right, Jenny? Because it helps learning the cards. Because when you learn what 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 Pamela, what Pixie really means, you know, Arthur created this because he wanted a systematic approach to studying spirit, whereas Pixie wanted, uh, she just wants her freak flag to fly. I mean, even at that time. She had no, um, she really had a connection with the cards and spirit. Whereas this way, Arthur, and being the man and 20 years older than she, he, it was like an arm's length distance. That's why, and it came out, I mean, Pixie was like, that's why tarot readers, you know, in her observations, some tarot readers are like, real really into the meaning of the card and following the order of the of the fool's journey whereas some tarot readers are real intuitive and it kind of opens up a whole nother avenue so 
it was just fascinating. She loves that. And he he doesn't understand that. <laughs> it's just crazy. It's absolutely crazy, guys. All right, it's fun. Okay. Hi, Debbie K. Okay, Yogi Bear, I'll, I'll start it. I know, I think mansplaining Pixie, the real story behind the Waitsmith Smith Tarot, huh? Or Tarot After Dark or something like that. <laughs> okay, please put up your questions. Let's go. Ooh, okay. Ooh, good one. Uh, will there be more Republicans? Yes, there will be. I still see it 50-50, though. Um, <laughs> SS Bunny Soy Uno. Okay, gracias. Can you tell me what my power stone is? Hi, Arlene. Yeah, right now for you, my dear, it is Rose Quartz. What will happen with the house numbers? Got it. All right. Yay. Just put your preguntas up. If I don't see them, it's not on purpose. It just goes fast, guys. <sighs> All right. Will Biden change the tax laws to make them more fair? Let's take a look. Yes, I hear, uh, but we need to be in uh, control of both houses. But yeah, it's going to happen, Carol. Um, he's got a whole tax plan. It's kind of like he's got a whole, <laughs> a whole chapter in his three-ring binder on taxes, reshaping our system. So that we can build from the middle out again. Remember how it used to be before it trickled down economics? Doesn't work. Makes the rich richer and the poor poorer and no middle class. So yes, he will. Um, we need to, but there needs to be, um, you know, people have to be on board for it. So whether they're a Democrat or a Republican, they need to, start to see the math in it and vote for it so that they can make these changes. But yes, things will begin if, uh, you know, Biden just really, he's chomping at the bit for uh, both houses to be under democratic control and we can get a lot of things done. Very good. Good question and thank you. All right, Rose Blue, a chatter in Scotland said this morning that boxes of papers taken from Turnberry Golf Course about Russian money or U.S. Uh, classified docs. Yeah, I read on that. Remember I said that there are many documents strewn around his golf courses, not the golf courses, but taken to those properties and stored. Really sensitive stuff, like good stuff. Like, oh, here's the plans to our special bomb that we have that nobody should know about, but now you do, Iran. Or, oh, there you go, Saudi Arabia, and you could share it with your friends. It's just, mm. man, man, all right. Yes, sweetie, I, I believe it. I believe the chatter. I feel like the youth of Russia have had enough. Are they going to rebel and stop Putin? Well, they're trying to. I mean, like, you know, the lead singer of Pussy Riot, she was put in a gulag for nine years for just writing a song. I mean, it's... You know, his oppression, his rule is pretty, um, 
pretty intense. And that's what this uh, this claim of ISIS. It was um, it wasn't a real attack. And uh, it's just going to further the crackdown. It's like a distraction for what he's planning on doing and going into the rest of Europe. You know, Poland is, they're building bomb shelters. What is it? Moldova is uh, reaching out to NATO, having meetings with NATO allies for trying to find some. Yeah, the energy is shifting there, gang. So we need to hold all that within love and stop Putin. You know, before you go to sleep at night, what you can do is you can ask in dream time to your higher self to go talk to his higher self and send him love and peace and talk to him about being peaceful. It helps. It works. He's a very, uh, he's quite a psychic man himself. And his grandmother was really into the mystical arts, you know, in uh, Russia. And there's quite a, a study of that and a belief in that. And he, he prescribes to that. So it would work. It works. All right. Good. Okay. So, um, oh, the question, <laughs> the youth of Russia have had enough. Are they going to rebel and stop Putin? Yes, but that's why, um, that's what that whole ISIS attack, the fire, the shooting, um, it was creating something so that he could set a precedent, but which will trickle down and stop this kind of uh, rising up. It will be many years, you guys, before Russia sees relief. I mean, that's the truth. You know, he's healthy and he is, he plays the long game. It's very conniving. Yeah, thank you, Carol. All right. Um, hi, Sheila. So Josh Stein will win in where? Uh, North Carolina. I don't know about this. Oh, is he a black gentleman who's the lieutenant governor? I mean, that's who I see talking. Is he going to win? No, he's, uh, wow, he's pretty extreme. Really wants to take women's power away. He's so threatened. Ooh, his poor wife. Oh. Oof. Uh, no, he's not going to win. So does that mean that Josh Stein, will, Josh Stein will win? I'm just seeing the extreme candidate will not. Yeah, thank you, Sheila. All right, uh, 45 TWA stock dropped 14% Friday. Oh, <laughs> anything around him. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's, he's not getting the money. Still doesn't have it in his hot little hand, guys. Ah. Sotomayor retire in the next Biden administration because of health issues. Oh, she wants to go. Not, not go. She wants to retire. 
she just she really doesn't like her job anymore. She doesn't like these people she's working with because it it's not it's not law anymore. It's not the honor of law. It's politics. She doesn't like it at all. But she feels like she has to hang in there. She thinks about her friend, Ruthie. This is her. And so when she thinks about her, she feels like she has to stay in. So will she retire during the bite? No, she will not. She wants to. She's going to go through a health scare. And uh, from it, it will uh, propel her into wellness. You know, just starting to take better care of herself. But she'll be there. Good question, Valeria. Thank you. Uh, his great escape? Hi, Yogi. No, I'm seeing him there. I'm seeing him on a throne with eagles. Bummer. Hi, Christine. 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 Christine J. Hi, Jen. Do you see the United States electing a Republican president in 20? 28. I see Josh Shapiro as president in 2028. Yeah. I keyed into him uh, when I watched him run for Senate. Or was it governor? Governor. Yeah. 2028. We'll see. Shh. Don't say anything yet. <laughs> All right. When the orange menace becomes incapacitated, who will jump into his shoes to keep up the MAGA mark? Well, that will be Marjorie Taylor Greene and all those nutty, oh, Jim Jordan. But they don't have as much power as like he does. They aren't liked. They, you know, other politicians can't use them like they can use Trump. They really, there's just some magic about Trump that, um, you know, he is their mascot that people are drawn to. I see Nikki Haley, though, back. We'll see about that. Shh. <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> I thankful. Will there be more Republicans leaving the House? Yes. Um, I see it even now. I see that it will wind up even. But um, there are uh, there are representatives that are actually going to make it difficult for the Republicans, you know, like being strategic and leaving, you know, at certain times so that people can't get reelected. But right now, when I ask, because it seems like, well, if that is true, then <laughs> more would leave. But I see it even Stephen. Thankful. Thank you. Thank you, moderators. Power Stone, Rose Quartz right now, Arlene. Unconditional love, but lines up your aspects right now. It's good. Okay. Yeah, what will happen with the house numbers? I see even Steven at this point. So that's it for those questions. Do we have any more questions, gang? New comments down here. Okay. There we go. There's one. Hello, Fireside Psychic. 
How are you feeling, sir? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. You know, I got to see it again. <laughs> Rose blue. And there we go. Uh, Clarence Thomas. Kay Granger is stepping down out of what committee? Who is that? <gasps> oh, Bean Curry. What, what do we got? Oh. Yes, please. Jen at jenbushman.com, Angela. Always looking for bean recipes. I'm totally into lentils and beans. I feel better when I eat them. And they give me energy for a long time. Like I can eat them for breakfast and boom, I'm good all day. Uh-oh. Oh, good. Um, no, don't set your stones out for the moon eclipse. Actually hide them. Close the shades. <laughs> Not right now. Hi, spiritual Sean. Yeah, very clean. Excuse me. I ate a little salad earlier. <laughs> oh, good question, Jennifer P. Yeah, oh, I have this really great recipe for lentils. It's uh, it's an Ethiopian recipe. It's kind of the, the regular. Um, so think about Ethiopian cooking, what I learned um, from Papa John. He was a regular, used to come into the bar at, in, at Shots where I worked in Waikiki. And um, he flew... He was the pilot for, I don't say his name properly, but Ayalasi Selassie. He flew his family around and he wound up like taking their dogs when um, when the coup takeover happened. Tells these fabulous stories. But so he lived in Ethiopia and has raised his children there and learned how to cook. So Papa John used to come to Seattle after I moved there was, you know, when I had Sam and got married and we moved back to Seattle from Honolulu and uh, we would go to these Ethiopian grocery stores and he would show me uh, the different spices and we'd talk recipes because I love to cook. So he opened up my world and we, we would always eat Ethiopian food and um, but I learned how to make this one lentil recipe, you guys, that you would love. Just love. Oh, Christine, you just put your crystals outside. Bring them back in. Or just cover them with the towel. <laughs> it's like, no, no, babies, no. No. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's a lunar eclipse, you guys. So... It's not a good, it's just not good right now. But the energy is good. Don't you feel it? I said it would start in the, like the end of March, and it has. I mean, McKenna said we were riding into town, and she said, uh, Mom, doesn't it feel really good? And she looked so happy. She was like radiant and glowing. And I said, what's going on? She said, I'm just so happy. Don't you feel good? She goes, doesn't it feel like something broke? And I said, yes, something is breaking. Yes, it's happening. Okay, so let's get back to it. I know people don't like the chit chat, but this is not a formal politics show. So there. Okay. Uh, right. I just see Josh. I mean, maybe... I just see him running in 2028. I don't know what's going to happen there with um, Harris. We'll see. I'll go in on it. But when I've looked, that's what I see. That's just what comes right there. So I usually just go with the and just call it. I don't question it. So... 
Thank you, Mary. Yeah, no, not tonight, guys. Not tonight. Kavanaugh leaving? No. Kavanaugh is going to be there till a ripe old age. I said that two times in the past, back when everybody was saying, oh, he's going to go, he's going to go. And yeah, you got my, my head chewed off. <laughs> But he is going to be there for a long time. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Do I see Clarence Thomas? Hi, Debsy. Leaving anytime soon? No, he's another one who's going to be there. He will retire when there is a Republican president. But actually, I believe he will leave before that happens. But um, I don't see it as soon. How is that for an answer? Trying to be diplomatic. Okay. Um, Kay Granger. Who is that? She's stepping out. Of Astro chick. Oh. I love kidney beans. Okay. No. Because you know who's coming? Stormy. And then uh, McDougal. Catherine. The other one he had an affair with and paid off. And then, of course, um, his favorite person in the whole world, Michael Cohen. And... Um, and then Carol Bastian shared this morning that his uh, body man, who knows about the baby that he had with a maid or a, an employee, um, he's going to testify. There's it, just going to be too much evidence, kind of like uh, the New York case, the fraud trial. Very good. What else do we have here? Okay, yeah, he's the scary man, right? What? They have everything down to the last thread of clothing used in beginning sacrifices again at their new temple. Ooh. Oh, oh, Hogarth. Oh, okay. Thank you, hon. Cray, cray. Okay, any other questions? <gasps> well, hi, Judy. Um, will Melania Trump divorce 45? I got it in the videos. Thank you, Judy, for reminding me. Got a lot of readings to send out tonight. Okay, will Melania divorce? No. She's just like him. She knows what she's doing. She really grew up, uh, she struggled. So she, um, she grew up in, a, in the energy of learning to use her body to marry into wealth and, you know, not her body, not like, you know what I mean? But it, that it's about modeling and, you know, arm candy and that that's what it's about. But really she's, there's a lot of depth there. Very clever, but uh, no, she will not. She will not. She won't need to. All right. Does MTG have a big money donor in her district? 
district or what makes her so popular in their district as they say she is. Yeah, it's just, it just happens to be that she lives with a group of people that really like her. And that's all it takes. And your energy needs to match that of your constituents. Not saying that they're all like her in that area of Georgia, but the majority are. Yeah, she, she has two big money donors, I see. A local businessman, very wealthy. Wealthy, wealthy man. And she gets... Oh, she's got ties to the Kremlin. She gets paid to juice... Juice the division... Wow. They're still doing it. That's amazing. Whew. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Thank you, Paisley. You guys, Astro Chick. Hi, honey. Kind of mind boggling the story behind the sacrifice of the cows. Wow. So, not ISIS, but a false flag. Hi, Luis. Um, well, they were paid, ISIS fighters were paid to do that. Very similar to Netanyahu and October 7th. Will Netanyahu be overthrown soon? Yes. I hear a yes. Well, tell me more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. The world card. So, and the sun. So, um, coming to completion. But what I get in this is that the, uh, the world is looking at him. The sun is shining all over. It's illuminating. And, ah, and then I got my page with the Fibonacci spiral. So, uh, yeah, it's the energy. The energy is, it's swirling now around him to oust him. It's got the hierophant. People want him to go. Governments want him to go. Some of his people want him to go. The people that are in his administration want him to go. He's he's not, you know, he's a criminal. But if he goes, then he will uh, probably go to jail because he's he's in trouble. I see him in jail. I see him in jail, guys. Like, he's really going to jail. Yeah. See, I don't see Trump going to jail. I don't see the, you know. Hmm. Hello from Florida. Hello from New Mexico, Arlene. So, it was like 67, 70 degrees here yesterday. And then today, we had a blizzard. <laughs> 
And then, and then the wind came and blew all the snow away. And now we have hu this huge windstorm going on, knocking down stuff. I love New Mexico. It's magical. What are you guys talking about? That's what I love. Like we've got a curry recipe flying around. Astro Chick is talking about cows. I don't know. Oh, goodness. All right, gang. I don't see any more questions. Do you have more preguntas? don't know about the red heifer cow with Israel. I don't know anything about that astro chick. It's like a lot of symbolism there. That's not real, right? Well, is true social merger tank? No, it's not going to do well, but it's not going to tank. He's counting on that to pull him out, but it's not going to work. Just face it, buddy. You don't have $500 million in cash to appeal something you're going to lose <laughs> because it's in black and white, right? I mean, that's what the judge looked at. He's like, well, your tax return says this and your bank application says this. And there was more documents, but it's kind of like, that's your signature. Well, you broke the law, dude. And so now we're going to add it up. <laughs> I mean, it's like, what are you appealing, buddy? Pretty black and white, seriously. Who's Rishi Sunak? Is he the guy in uh, Great Britain? So Obama met with him, and it was under the guise of a... a uh, making money, but they also were talking about uh, how um, it's about ready to, we're trying to keep world peace, especially in uh, Europe. Yep, that's what they were talking about. Do I have the right person, Angela? Ah, yes. Mansplaining Pixie. <laughs> Wouldn't that be good? The real story behind the, the, we should call it the Smithway deck. Seriously, it's not at all what you would think. There was a lot of, and Pixie had a phone. Arthur did not. It was a big deal back then. Uh, Trans World Airlines. <laughs> it is, it is hilarious when Arthur gets frustrated. I know when Pixie starts talking about his male apparatus. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, seriously, seriously, seriously. Oh, thank you, honey. Okay. Yes. Yes, he will. I like this. This is good, man. Like we're answering a hundred questions. We should do that. We should keep track of how many questions I answer in an hour. <laughs> hmm. Mm. Um. Hi, Cindy McGrain. Yes, they're gonna struggle. They're. They are going to, con we are changing our planet and that piece of the planet is changing. And they're going to struggle. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, hon. Hi, Dan. What? I worked for Uber for five years. They would take my tips. Jerks. <laughs> Use Lyft. Lyft was good. The boys were good. Huh. Busted for stealing money. Let's see what the movie says. I loved it though. Cause I mean, I just, I love people. It was fun driving people around the conversation. <laughs> okay, gang. There it is again, the page and the emperor. Bam! And the queen. Geez, these were the same cards last time. Yeah, because they've got the hierophant. So they're under major investigation. And it's, you know, it's like uh, they're part of the energy. What they put out is what they are reaping. They're going to get in big trouble, Paul. Ooh. Wow. I might be able to get my tip money back. <laughs> ah, wouldn't that be cool? It's a lot of wear and tear on your car. You know? Dang. All right. Hi, Kathy Hines. I was thinking about you the other day. You must have felt my my was burning. <laughs> Her ears were burning. It's like, ah, oh, Jed's coming in. I miss you too, sweetie. When is Jack taking out the <laughs> Oh my gosh. There are no there are no documents underneath Havana or tucked in her pockets. <laughs> there's no no papers tucked in her pockets or in her coffin or underneath it or but it's it, there is at uh that golf course it, he took he took documents to golf courses his properties he didn't take them like to um he got rid of them took them to Threw them around golf courses. Not out in the greens, but, you know, in the buildings. Took them to Scotland. Does he have one in Ireland? Does he have one in Scotland and one in Ireland? Is this true? Then he's got Bed Bedminster. Then I see some in California. Does he have a home in California? He has a home down in the island. Um, is that the Virgin Islands? Yes, they're all over the place. Not too many in one spot. Can't believe it. What a jerk. <laughs> wow. Okay. Not sure about California. Does he have a house there? Or does he have a golf course there? Huh. <laughs> uh, he sold them already? He has several homes in California. Yeah, he's got... Will he go to jail? No, hun. He, he's not going to go. I, I still don't see him going to jail. I don't see him in the orange jumpsuit. All 
All right, any more questions? Yeah, she's not there. Yeah. You stole over 12 grand from you last year? Dang. Yeah, good. Tip in cash, you guys, if you uh, use Rideshare. Don't leave it on the credit card because uh, they'll take it. Is Macron leaving his wife? Seriously? I don't see that. He loves her. Like, it's kind of weird. Like, he's hot for her, but she's also like his mother. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Like, oh, oh. Scratching the underbelly of our, right, our formative years. Um, <laughs> whoa. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. They are the four of wands. Oh, and he fears the backlash, actually, but, um, no, I don't see any dissension between the two. Is that the rumor over there, Angela? Huh. Yeah, um, they do get all their tips. Uber takes a portion of your tips. And then they said they didn't, but they really do. At least they did when I was. I just spray painted my old one. <laughs> oh, God, isn't that incredible? Okay. This will be in uh, January of next year. Yep. Oh, be with Macron and his wife. If Trump is gone, will the Kremlin still pay these other MAGA people? They they fund quite a few Republicans and Democrats. Now, yeah. ugh. Um, will William be king in 2024, 2025? I see. Um, da, da, da. I leave a tiny tip on my card, okay. You think Macron is by? Yeah, he's got, I wouldn't be surprised if he, it's not that, you know, dressing like a, a what is it? What do they call that when you dress like the other sex? your opposite sex, but it doesn't mean that you have sexual feelings, but like uh, people identify as a female, they feel female, right? If they're a male, but it doesn't mean that they are sexually attracted to males, even when they become a female. You understand? It's kind of that way. That's what I'm picking up from a crone, but you know, he and his wife are happy. It works for them. Whatever it is, it works. How, who apparently knows this? We will find out. Yes. Across trans. Is it trans? Is that considered trans when... Not sure. It's important to be correct about this. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, he may lose it, but it doesn't necessarily mean that he'll leave. I mean, that's Texas, right? Better one. But 
Ted's still there, so. Right. It, it's called transvesticism, and it doesn't mean that, right? It's just that you're comfortable. Yeah. Which is fine. Everybody should just be who they are, and we love them. We love everyone, right? <laughs> what wine goes with Trump? Oh, um, it's from Greece. It's the bitter wine. God, I can't think of the name. Ugh, too much work today. It'll come to me in about five minutes. It'll, boom. Yeah, see, they don't want twice, but they cheated. That's what they do. Love to everyone. All right. Okay, guys. Well, I think we answered a lot of them. Um, but yeah, did I answer that? We will find out. And yes, they do know. And they're waiting. They can't come out with that now because they're being very methodical about prosecuting January 6th. They're being really careful, very careful, very methodical, right? We will find out. going on with Jared and his real estate deals in the Gaza area. Um, oh, he wants to put up condos. Is that true? Am I, I just, I see him building condominiums. Like it's just rubble everywhere. And he's just on the beach, just totally clueless. Wow. Is that true, Jen? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Forty five and human trafficking with Epstein. Um, well, forty five and Epstein. Um, yeah, they. Ugh. It's really gross what I see. So, um, I don't know how to say this. Yes and no. Remember those two women that uh, came forward when Trump was running for president with Gloria Allred? right? The, the attorney. And they said that they were 12 and 13 respectively with Epstein and Trump. And they wanted to sue Trump. They filed a lawsuit and then all of a sudden it went away and then it came back. They came back and then it went away again. Then Trump changed his his whole tune there as far and became very protective of his daughter. He was high. Wow. All right. Enough of that. Ick. Okay. How will a 50 50 house work? Not very well, but is it working well now? No. Retina. Thank you, Tony Stokes. Yes. God, have you guys had Retsina? Some people really dig it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, please share, like, and subscribe. I'm at jenbushman.com. If anything, just go check out my new website. I built it. It's taken me weeks. So um, check it out. I'm still working on the rock shop that's been pared down. Things have been taken out pages, combining, trying to make it as streamlined as possible, but everything else like the services side, that's, that's good. And the uh, 
Albuquerque, the workshop will go up tomorrow. Um, yeah, looking good. So check it out. And um, thank you, Jennifer P. Good. All right, guys. Thanks very much for being here. I know it was kind of impromptu. You guys have a great night. And I will see you all again soon. Okay. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Wait, where is? Oh, okay. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.